attackers. Almost all was the quote of those hostages have been released. Um, they came in missing, so it does seem that uh, that death toll actually eventually will will rise once the authorities manage to get into the complex and, and find the bodies that they we gather are lying around there. Um, so it seems that this gunfire, the explosions we've heard on television pictures showing troops running towards the complex, all part of a sustained assault to try and uh, end this once and for all, and the Kenyan security forces working hand in hand with American forces and also Israeli forces. It is a shopping yes. complex that is owned by an Israeli businessman. So there is a, a connection there. And the Kenyan interior minister we were hearing from a couple of minutes ago, Joseph Olelenku, saying that uh, that fire that you've just been seeing, that the smoke from that, that was started by the terrorists, he said. Um, Why he said are they terrorists? They set fire to mattresses. You he don't know what they want here. Yeah. Attackers were killed this morning. He said others were injured, um, and he gave that death toll of 62, which is somewhat lower than the Kenyan Red Cross death toll. They say that um, 69 people have died so far. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just show you again. Um, actually, these aren't live pictures. These are pictures from a little earlier. But uh, you can see them posing for pictures. The uh, security forces involved in trying to bring this crisis. There's a cameraman on three sides. Um, Sitting in a hedge. Tanks going in. Two men so lying in a ditch. Have apparently been brought in throughout the day. There's there's one of the tanks in the background. It's not a tank. There. And uh, the government saying that two terrorists have been killed today inside the building. Several others injured. And the government says that uh, its security forces are in control now of all the floors and they're effectively hunting down the rest of the hostage takers. Uh, still no confirmed number. The initial reports were of between 10 and 15 of them, uh, but the authorities saying there is no way any of them can leave. It's like Waco only shit. In that building, uh, but they had been fleeing to stores inside the building, uh, and that smoke caused by burning mattresses inside the building. It's been burning no, for it's four it's hours, you fucking idiots! Some kind of incendiary. It's a bonfire or something. So you're watching uh, BBC News. Our latest headlines. Fucking twat. Gunfire and explosions have been heard from the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, where Islamist militants have been holding a number of hostages. No, they haven't. We got things wrong. Ed Balls tells the Labour Party conference that they will learn 